and welcome back to my channel and another video at my new apartment. What is going on guys? I know, new background, new me. Okay, <laughs> anyways, so we are in a new location. I'm still trying to figure out the filming setup, so bear with me while I figure this out, but I thought I would do a meal prep video because I have not been eating healthy, let me just tell you, okay? I have been just all over the place, my life has been a mess, and I feel like I need to eat a vegetable. Yes, guys, I need to eat some vegetables. So today I thought I would share with you what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do a very healthy, affordable meal prep. I'm also gonna like use up some products that I have because I realize I, I might have a hoarding problem. Yes, okay. So I have a lot of things, like especially like kitchen, you know, little 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 ingredients that I'm like, okay, maybe I need to use this. So yeah, some of it is gonna be like that. But anyway, some vegetables, some, you know, using up of the ingredients and basically overall healthy, affordable meal prep. That's what I'm gonna go for today. So yeah, if you guys are interested, you can join me. And of course, all of the recipes and stuff will be in a blog post linked down below. Also, you guys, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Care Of. So I'll be talking about them a little bit later on in the video, but let's get started with the meal prep. All right guys, so the first thing we are going to be making is a barley and vegetable stew. And I was initially planning on making this into a soup, but it turned into a stew, so a stew it is. Basically, I had a bunch of pearl barley left over, so I thought I would use some of it. And barley is really healthy for you as well. It's kind of like, I guess, similar to brown rice in a way, but like the texture is definitely different. <laughs> wow, I'm so great at describing things. Anyway, first thing I'm doing is chopping up all the veggies. As you can see here, I'm gonna be using some onion, celery, carrots, bell pepper, and mushrooms as well. So I'm just chopping these veggies finely. The finer, the better, my friends. Then into a large wok, since I don't have a big pot anymore. I still need to get a nice pot, guys. I just moved and I don't have a big pot. So um, I will be taking recommendations in the comments if you guys have any. Anyway, I'm adding a little bit of oil into the wok and I'm going to start sauteing the onions. And then after a couple of minutes, I'm going to add in the mushrooms. And of course, as I'm cooking, I like to add little splashes of water as needed. So I'm just going to cook that until mushrooms and onions have cooked. And then you're going to set that aside. And then I'm going to add some more oil, again, small amount into the wok. And I'm going to add in some dry soy curls. And if you don't know what soy curls are, they're basically dehydrated soy meat. And I had some crumbles left over, like basically the broken up pieces left over at the bottom of the bag that needs to be shown some love. So I thought I would use the broken up crumbles so i just sauteed that dry with a little bit of oil and i'm also going to add in some better than bouillon seasoning which is like a concentrated veggie broth seasoning and i'm also going to add in some of the canned diced tomato in here at this moment i'm actually going to use a large can of diced tomatoes and i'm just going to use some of that just to add a little flavor into the soy curls and i'm just going to cook this in the tomato mix for a little bit and let the flavor soak in and to be honest guys i don't really know the reason I did everything in this order. I don't really know the reason I decided to like cook things separately like this. It made sense in my head at the time, but the more I think about it, the more I feel like it doesn't make sense. Anyways, apparently I decided to set the soy curls aside as well, then saute the rest of the veggies. Again, don't know why I thought of this order, but here we are. So I cooked up the veggies for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna just add in all those ingredients that we set aside along with the seasonings, which are oregano, dry parsley, basil, and garlic powder. And of course, feel free to add whatever seasonings you would like. Then finally, we can add in the rest of the large can of diced tomatoes along with one liter of water. And we can add in the dry barley as well and allow this mixture to come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, I turned it down to a simmer and I cooked it for around I believe it was 30 minutes or so, or until the barley is completely cooked. Now the barley will expand, it'll become bigger. So if you want more of a soup, then I'd recommend adding more water or more diced tomatoes along with some more seasonings because this obviously became a lot thicker than I had envisioned, okay? Anyways, there it is guys. Feel free to top your stew with parsley, maybe add some vegan Parmesan or whatever you'd like. You could also use a different type of protein. I used soy curls, but feel free to add in beans, which is obviously really healthy and great. Soups are just a great way to get a filling and comforting meal while getting in tons of veggies and it's really easy to make in bulk which is why it's a great meal prep option all right everybody so as i mentioned earlier this video is very kindly sponsored by care of 
ta-da! Yes, guys, okay. Well, as you guys might know, I have been taking care of for a very long time now. A lot of people ask me what vitamins I take, it is care of. The reason why I love them so much is because it is so convenient and easy to take your vitamins. I don't have to think about it. And everything comes in this one little pack. This is my daily pack. This is all I need in a day. So it just makes it so easy because before I would just take out like five different little bottles and it would just be complicated and annoying and I just wouldn't do it. Whereas when it's easy to take, I will take my vitamins. So, Care Of is amazing for a few reasons. Number one, it's really easy to get started. All you have to do is go on their page, and they have a five minute quiz. You just go through the quiz. It's very simple. It asks you questions about your lifestyle, your health goals, all kinds of stuff. And then at the end, they offer you a list of vitamins that you can choose to be in your daily pack. And then it comes into this daily pack like this. Every month they ship you the vitamins straight to your door. So every single day you just take one of these and you know that this is just everything you need in this little pack. These are compostable as well, so you can throw them in your compost. If you want directions on how to compost these, then you can go right here in this link. Another reason why I love Care Of is that they're really transparent about how they source their products. So you can find out all about where they source their products, the science and all that jazz on their website. So if you guys wanna know all about them, of course, Check out their website, link is down below. In my personalized daily pack, I have, of course, Vegan B12 because all vegans should be taking it. Don't try it with me, guys. Anyways, I also have Veggie Omega for my heart health, Cranberry for my urinary tract health, Vitamin D because I definitely don't get enough sun, Ginseng for energy and focus, and a probiotic blend for my gut. They also have protein powders, you guys, okay? So for you gym goers out there, okay? They've got protein powders. They've got a bunch of other stuff to basically meet your health and lifestyle and fitness goals. So you guys, if you wanna check out Care Of, don't forget to take that quiz, link down below. And of course, I gotta hook you up with a discount, okay? You get 50% off your first order using my code right here, my friends. 50% off your first order and all the info will be down below for you to take that quiz and get that discount, okay? So thank you so much to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Now let's continue our healthy meal prep. Next thing I'm gonna prepare is the brown rice. Now, usually when I meal prep, I do whatever takes the longest to cook first so that while that thing is cooking, I can prep other things. So that's why I made the stew first because I felt like that would take longer than the brown rice because I have this really handy dandy rice cooker. It's always really convenient to have some rice cooked in advance because you can easily freeze it or keep it in the fridge for at least three or four days for a very quick meal. And in my case, again, I have this really handy rice cooker that'll keep my rice warm for at least a couple of days. Yeah, while my rice is cooking, let's make the next dish. I decided to make some sweet and sour chickpeas cause you know, sweet and sour, whatever you get at restaurants is usually not the healthiest, but let's face it, we all love that sweet and sour sauce. So why not make a healthier veggie packed version? So first let's chop up some veggies again, this time into bite-sized pieces. Let's chop some broccoli, cauliflower, and onions. I decided to cook the onions without any oil this time, but feel free to add a little bit if you'd like. So we're gonna cook the onions for a couple minutes then I'm gonna add some canned pineapple juice along with some canned pineapple from the same can, yes. Then let's add in some coconut or brown sugar, some ketchup, soy sauce, or you can use a soy sauce alternative. I'm using coconut aminos. And I also added some rice vinegar as well. And of course, again, if you guys need the measurements, you can check out the blog post linked below. Then I'm gonna add in the broccoli, cauliflower, and some chickpeas. Now let's add in some water and allow this to come to a boil. And I also decided that I wanna add in some red peppers as well, red bell peppers, because look at that color. Okay, you gotta have some bell peppers in here. I don't know what I was thinking before. Once everything is pretty much cooked, we can thicken up the sauce by making a starch slurry. So what I did was just add one tablespoon of potato or cornstarch into a little bowl and mix that with one to two tablespoons of water and then just mix that and then add it into the pan and let this boil and cook and the sauce should thicken up very quickly. And once this is done and your rice is done, you can serve with some rice. And here we have a much healthier version of a Chinese takeout favorite. And this turned out to be super yummy. Me. I ended up having this for lunch as well and prepping the rest for future meals. And I mean, seriously, how can sweet and sour sauce not be delicious? Okay, hope you guys try this one out. 
The last thing I'm gonna prep quickly are some smoothies. Now this isn't gonna be a full on smoothie prep where it's gonna be ready to drink, but I'm gonna put together some fruits and veggies so that when I want to make a smoothie, it is really quick and easy. So for our smoothies, I'm going to add in some frozen strawberries, frozen pineapple, and some banana into Ziploc bags. So each of them is going to be for one smoothie. And don't worry, I will be reusing these Ziploc bags until I basically can't use them anymore. So I did measure these out, the strawberries, pineapple, and banana but you don't have to do that you can just eyeball it but I did include the measurements in the blog post and then I'm going to also stuff each of them with a large handful of baby spinach and this way each time again I want to make a healthy green smoothie I can just add some water some non-dairy milk into a blender along with this mix and some protein powder and that's it all right guys so that's it for my meal prep i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so happy now that i have so much food prepped healthy food prepped so that i can eat healthy throughout the next few days and i won't resort to just buying food and wasting money and eating unhealthy food anyways if you enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and of course don't forget to check out care of the link is down below for you to get 50% off your first order make sure you take that quiz and order your vitamins link is down below and um, yeah once again if you guys need the recipes for any of these it's gonna be in a blog post link down below as well and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye